uh, introduced by a person of uh, such immense stature as Dr. Preeti Kachari, an accomplished neurophysician and neurosurgeon par excellence, and the first and only lady in India to achieve such a combination of academic excellence. I sincerely thank you, <laughs> Dr. Preeti Kachari, and feel privileged to be associated with in this uh, prestigious club. And secondly, I'm proud of the immense faith all you Templars have placed in me to lead you this Rotary year as president of this prestigious club. To be honest, I have uh, gone through a gamut of emotions since uh, a year ago when I was, you know, nominated as president-elect. Uh, when it was one of trepidation and then one of amazement during and after the excellently arranged pet seminar and DTA at the wonderful platform that we as Rotarian presidents have been given to serve the needy. And then in the last few weeks it's been a tremendous excitement when I realized that there are actually so many people to do my bidding and that's a novelty considering, you know, I'm married for 34 years, so <laughs> all I hear it almost up away so nanning a cake and now Solarlan Kekaranga. Thank God for Rotary. <laughs> Worth mentioning here that our club is uh, one of the few clubs that has equal number of men to women. We have 44 members in the house of town. And uh, 22 are men, and only 22. So, everyone has a kepang and terla, but for now I'm good. Jokes aside, I'm uh, greatly indebted to immediate past president Navneet for stepping in at such a difficult time and steering the club through very tumultuous period. It was not an easy year, and. Uh, I'm also greatly indebted to the installation committee for their wonderful efforts in stitching this function together. Thank you so much to all of you. And I'm very proud to acknowledge the presence of my mom, Mrs. Prema Rajshekaran here today. That is one of the reasons I said I'm uh, Amusingly ended up with Prema because she is Prema and I have, I meant Prema and you know I'm between two Premas. It's, you can, yeah, <laughs> and I'm afraid what to do. So, and uh, she has, uh, uh, she has agreed to donate one lakh rupees for Operation Daybreak. Uh, being a daughter of a freedom fighter and a Tamil poet, she believes that to give is to receive and has always been supportive of all my social cause initiatives, as you can see there. I'm also duty bound to acknowledge and thank Rotarian Vijay Lakshmi Hari Prasad, who has pledged 150,000. Rotarian Jay Shetty, please. Rotarian J. Shetty of R.C. Ambatur, who has pledged to match the amount of 1,50,000 given by Viji, and uh, Rotarian Dr. Preeti Kachari, who has already contributed 50,000 for this noble cause. This was a project which was very close to Rekha and Rekha was also the only major donor in our club and a huge believer in the purpose of uh, the Rotary Foundation. As a start, a contribution of uh, 1000 USD has been done to the TRF Polio Fund on my behalf, Srini, uh, by the Good Doctor Netflix series production company which owed me the fee for use of my two YouTube channel work videos for that tele-serial. So it's uh, good to know that this thousand gets multiplied three times. So by the uh, 
uh, Gates Foundation. So in effect, the contribution becomes 3,000 US dollars for the Julio Fund. And uh, this is our tribute to Reka on our charter day. I'm positive that uh, more contributions will follow in time to come for the TRF. Um, we started the 1st of July, the, the Rotary year, with a joint project with RC Gemini. I have to thank my co-president, uh, Dr. Ramnath, here from Panimala Hospital, who diagnosed a three-year-old uh, child, female child from Bihar, child of a migrant worker with a large hole in the heart. and. Uh, he just sent me a WhatsApp message a day before saying, can we help? And uh, we um, uh, took this baby uh, over to Kamachi Memorial Hospital and uh, did a successful catheter-based procedure on her. And uh, now, uh, my dear friends, this is just an example of how Rotary uh, connects us and uh, changes the way of the life in ways that you cannot imagine and then creates hope in their lives. So, enormously thankful to Rotary, Rotary for uh, giving me a platform that uh, uh, helps me to uh, support the needy. I'm also duty bound to acknowledge the generosity of uh, Dr. Govindarajan, Chairman of Dr. Kamachi Memorial Hospitals, who has been an ardent supporter of uh, Project Healing Little Hearts. Uh, for uh, quite some time to come. And in keeping the emphasis on mental health by Rotary International President Gordon R. McKinley, we also started the Rotary year with an amazing lecture by Dr. Preeti Kachari titled Bounce Back Mental Wellbeing for Doctors. Being Doctors Day, it was uh, considered apt to address this issue amongst the doctors who face the ravages of uh, the uh, pandemic as frontline caregivers. And this is a series of talks that she intends to continue through the year for people across all age groups because we know that mental illness is widely prevalent but not acknowledged enough. Um, we take this opportunity to invite all the clubs in the district to use her services as a resource person for spreading mental well-being across the society, uh, which is a distinct need of the time we live in. Live in. Um, in keeping with uh, one of the focus areas of District 3232 this year, organ donation awareness programs. Can I ask uh, Kavya to come up to the stage, please? Thanks. Uh, I would like to put the focus on heart transplantation through, please come up here, through Kavya Sri, who uh, was a little girl sitting on my lap when I first saw her fighting a courageous battle against a congenital heart disease. And uh, despite multiple procedures and surgeries, eventually required a heart transplantation. Today, uh, she is uh, living proof of uh, the Hitendran effect, uh, generosity of the donor family of unimaginable quality that creates hope in the world. I thank her for readily agreeing to be a Rotary Ambassador for uh, organ donation. particularly hard since it's not widely known and uh, accepted. She has completed five years after a heart transplant and that's duly thanks to the immunosuppressant she needs to take every day for her life. And uh, these immunosuppressants cost at least 15,000 rupees a month. Uh, and I've been unfortunate enough to know some children who were unable to sustain this expenditure and lost their lives after transplants. It would be wonderful if Rotary as an organization can take this up as well, in addition to raising awareness about organ transplantation to about the significant expense that these patients incur on a monthly basis just to survive after transplants and motivate the government to aid them. Kavi, I would uh, like to uh, read a quote. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, sir has been with me for the past, uh, but from when I was five years old, and now I'm 21. From a young age, sir has been taking care of me till now. So I would like to 
you my whole heart of thanks to you sir for bringing me on it gives me immense pleasure to be in front of all rotarians and great people and being and seeing sir being uh, installed as the president of rotary club so uh, as a heart transplant recipient i would like to just say say something do not take your organs to heaven because heaven knows that we need it here i know it's a very famous quote but as a organ recipient i would like to reiterate i hope that it helps many other organ recipients thank you thank you so much i thank uh, dg ravi raman for accepting our invitation to be the chief guest today and rotarian shobhana ravi raman for gracing the function and i extend heartfelt thanks to on behalf of all my fellow co-presidents out there for making our role that much easier with this meticulously planned training seminars thank you dg and the district of team officials I thank all the co-presidents, my dear friends and templars for turning out today to show your love and affection. I recognize the presence of uh, Rotarian Nedunjali and Dr. Nedunjali from Kumbakonam.